Election security is top of mind as ballots are being counted at elections headquarters. You likely remember seeing this viral video after an arsonist set fire to a ballot drop box in Vancouver, Washington. Hundreds of ballots were in that drop box at the time. In Oak Harbor, dozens of ballots were found in a pile of other mail on the side of the road. Ballots are being resent to everyone affected there. On Arc Seattle at 10 o'clock, Mary Nam spoke to King County Elections Director Julie Wise about the steps being taken to make sure ballots are safe and secure this election. Earlier this week, we saw a blatant attack to really sow distrust and I think vote by mail elections specifically with um, fires in both Portland, Oregon, Multnomah County, Vancouver, Washington, which is Clark County. And want to reassure voters that our drop boxes are secure and, of course, convenient for voters to use this election cycle. Our drop boxes, all 85 of them spanning across King County, weigh in at over 1,000 pounds. They are cement bolted into the ground. And they have no exterior primer, uh, pri, um, uh, spots on the exterior of the box itself. All of our drop boxes are also have at least two fire stops within the unit itself. That means that when it detects heat, that it actually um, will provide powder into the drop box to put out that fire. That's something we've done for a number of years. Those are checked annually. So folks really should feel confident about the security of our drop box. In fact, we're still seeing 60 percent of voters returning their ballot by drop box here in King County. Um, the fire suppression system, the smoke, uh, you know, that device, how many years has that been used? Is that a, just a norm part of it now? It is. It's been, you know, it's been there for several years. And I don't know the exact year that we implemented the fire stop. But again, it's been for a number of years. You know, um, we've been vote by mail here in King County since 2009. And... Um, and, you know, if you think about even just every little design aspect of those drop boxes, the slot in which one places their ballot through is only a quarter of an inch, just so that folks are putting just ballots in there and really not having an opportunity to put anything else in there. With regard to the recent discovery of, of ballots in a bag of mail that was discovered, I mean, this, this speaks more to just mail safety. And, and the last few years, we've had issues not related to the election, but just with the problem of mail theft and things of that nature. How big of a problem is that for you guys when it comes to election years? What I think is really important for folks to understand is that the verification and validation of a ballot actually being counted happens at the official King County elections headquarters. That's where I've got trained professional election administrators that are ensuring that every single ballot that's returned has that signature on the return envelope verified to the voters voter registration and again making sure that they haven't already turned in a ballot that they're eligible to be voting in this election so that component is really happening at the elections facility so folks don't need to worry about you know who, who gets their hands on ballots um in, in transit if you will but absolutely it is um, when, when you talk to our um, our postal service, it is unfortunately the time of year around the holidays where we do see an increased spike of mail theft, um, and uh, they're usually disposing of the ballots on the side of the street or or, or in ditches. Um, I guess that kind of speaks to how low voter fraud is actually um, occurring across vote by mail jurisdictions. So absolutely, I can understand it's disconcerting for folks. Um, again, the checks and balances are happening back at King County Elections facilities. And something I think is really important for voters across Washington State and in King County is that you can track your ballot. That gives you the security and, um, and comfort of knowing exactly where your ballot is in the entire process. So you can go online and look at where your ballot is at. You can also sign up at King County for a ballot alert. That means you can get a text message or an email. It's up to you letting you know, hey, your ballot was mailed to you. We've received it back at the election office. Your signature looks good. And now it's being counted. And I think that's a really key component of security, especially in vote by mail. Julie, tell us more about these processes in place. So if for some reason a ballot gets lost, if someone, you know, unfortunately their ballot is part of the whole, you know, mail theft scenario, 
what are the pro what are the things that happen in that situation that they can do to make sure that that ballot ends up where it needs to go? Absolutely. Again, track your ballot. Go online, sign up for ballot alerts, check out where your ballot is at in the process. You have options here in Washington state. So all the way up to and including election day, you can still make sure to have your voice heard and your ballot counted. If you, you're tracking your ballot and your elections office doesn't have it, we've got vote centers across Washington state. And here in King County, we have seven vote centers that are opening up the Saturday before election day and will be open on Monday and, of course, all day Tuesday, Election Day. Those span from Kenmore all the way down to Kent and Federal Way, where voters can go in one-stop shop at a vote center. You can get registered to vote. You can get your ballot. We've got voters pamphlets there, got spots for you to vote and return your ballot right there. Even get yourself an I Voted sticker. So there's options for voters. And our system here in Washington State is a statewide, real-time voter registration election management system. So voters can feel confident that we can look in that system and see you have not returned a ballot yet and has not been counted. Let us reissue you a ballot. Now, we're getting close to Election Day, so make sure to call uh, King County Elections at 206 296 vote and we can share with you the best options for you or again we've got vote centers um kenmore bellevue seattle renton federal way kent and the university of washington has a student hub there as well uh, you bring up a really good point i think some people might have you know might misunderstand how it works that if they're they're checking their ballot and it's not arrived yet it's often that standpoint of I need to wait, someone needs to contact me. That's not how this works. If you don't see your ballot as being you know, accepted at, at the voting center, you can actually go to the voting center, like you say, and get the process started. Absolutely, absolutely. Again, check and make sure that your ballot has been received by King County Elections, by your elections office is a real critical component. Um, signing up for ballots alerts is great because then you get a text message and you don't have to worry about it. And uh, yes, absolutely. That's how a voter can get confirmation that the uh, ballot has been received at our office. And, and again, we've got time all the way up until 8 p.m. election day, but I really encourage voters to get out before the lines. There is going to be lines on election day, especially the evening of election day. Saturday is a great time to head to a vote center. And again, we are always here to help at 296 vote to answer any of our voters' questions. It was such an important conversation because mm -hmm. so many people's election security concerns have kind of been on edge and yeah. probably even more rattled ever since that ballot drop box fire, since the pile of ballots were found on the side of the road and trash. Yep. So it's good to just have this extra layer of reassurance. Your ballot's okay. The people who are affected are gonna get some new ones in the mail. Hopefully they are, have already received those. And um, you're a big proponent of tracking your ballot. Absolutely. I actually tracked mine after you posted yours. Yes. And I saw that my ballot made it and it was counted. See, I did the same thing. Yeah. You have the power to track it, votewa.gov. If you've already turned in a ballot, that's anywhere in Washington. Mm -hmm. And you can track and see if the elections office received your ballot and it will be counted on Tuesday. Yeah.